feels like you're in a condo. Especially with like the glass tile and the backsplash and everything. It doesn't feel like you're in an RV. I'm really actually digging this floor plan. So you have a three burner, four burner, four burner. Let's see, what do we have? And now this is one thing that I am seeing that I absolutely love and I wish more RV manufacturers set things up this way. So in this video, I am super excited because this is gonna be a first look for us and probably a first look for you at the new Fleetwood Bounder 35GL. Now this is a all new floor plan for Fleetwood. So I'm pretty stoked to check out the inside and see what it's all about. And we're gonna take you on a tour. A huge thanks to Fleetwood for sponsoring today's video. We're super thankful for our sponsors. They help really keep the channel going. There's a lot that goes into editing and camera equipment, and we're super thankful for our sponsors for coming alongside and partnering with us. You can find out more about all of the Fleetwood lineup at the link in the description below. This is amazing they're like i don't even know i'm kind of at a loss for words just how this particular setup is because of where the, the door is located for entry versus where the doors traditionally are for entries in rvs usually on your diesel pushers it's way at the front your gas engines it's kind of like you know in the middle of where the rv is this being more towards the back of where the rv is makes this really cool floor plan possible. So one of the things I absolutely love is just the lighter colors. And so many RV manufacturers are finally going to some of these lighter colors. But this is so cool where you have this kind of kitchen area and then you have got these cupboards that feel like a house or a condo where they're mounted to the ceiling. Look at how huge this is. Oh my gosh, this is so stinking huge for storage and it just it literally feels like you're in an apartment or a condo this is really a nice use of outlet space where it's recessed into the counter and you've got your usb ports as well as your just regular household type outlets and then you've got another one over here too so very nice area if you needed to plug in like a hand mixer or an instant pot air fryer you've got all of that space here and then i really like the farmhouse style sink where it's a one-piece sink it just makes doing dishes and stuff a lot easier really with one sink versus a double sink so nice feature and then of course the sink covers which make it usable counter space when you're just working in your kitchen area which is super nice. I'm really actually digging this. Over here, you've got your residential style fridge. Uh, plenty of space in this fridge. Like any of these residential style fridges, you have the same amount of space in these that you would typically have in a fridge that's in your sticks and bricks house. Feels very much like that style of living, but you're on the road being able to do it. Here you have got your cooktop. We have a three burner cooktop down here so propane cooktop right there cooking with gas baby cooking with gas and then you've got your microwave convection oven up here so no actual stove oven but this convection oven works great to cook anything that you would normally cook in a traditional oven so we do a lot of things like frozen pizzas or I've done biscuits and cookies. You can do all of that in the confection oven right up here. And then since there's no actual stove, it gives you plenty of space for more storage, nice, big, long drawers that are down here. And the cabinetry in this feels so nice and solid too. So nice solid cabinets pull out up here. These pull outs are so nice. It just really brings all of those comforts of home into this particular space right here. And then you've got nice theater seating right here. And then of course, right across, you've got your TV. If you wanted to chillax and watch TV, I really like how this is placed up higher with where that this particular TV is placed. It just 
really makes for kind of a more comfortable viewing experience. Sound bar that's all set up there. So this is just a really, really cool floor plan. I'm really digging this so far. If it was just you and I, Ben, this would be a fun floor plan. Yeah. Super Love cool. It. You could do this with kids too. You would just have to decide where you're gonna put them to sleep, maybe on the couch or whatever, but this is a super cool floor plan. And then over here, you've got your dining area, and then this looks like the same convertible tabletop that we have been seeing in the other Fleetwoods where this just spins right around. And then you can add more seating. So if you've got several people that are over for dinner, you can add more chairs in here and just have more options for seating there. And then this just goes back into place for when you're traveling or just if you would rather have it be more of like a breakfast nook area or a work area, nice and just out of the way when you want it to be out of the way. Tons of storage up here. And here, I just see where the kids would sleep. They would sleep right up here on this nice drop down bunk. So there you go, plenty of sleeping for everybody. I really see how this would be an amazing RV too for the grandparents that maybe are gonna wanna have the grandkids on occasion. Maybe sometimes they won't have the grandkids. You can put them right up here if they're along and if they're not, well, it just stays folded up and out of the way. So plenty of options for sleeping there. You've got your cockpit area up here, which these seats, oh my goodness. Talk about cushy and comfortable. A lot of people have different kind of rules that they follow as far as how many hours that they put in in a travel day. For us with two drivers, sometimes we'll put in longer hours. And so when you're putting in some long hours in a travel day, it is nice to feel comfortable. And it actually helps lessen that fatigue on the road when your back's not hurting or your hips aren't hurting or things like that because of the way that the seats are. So very nice, cushy, supportive seats that are in this cockpit area here. So now one thing that we tend to do on a travel day is if one of us is driving, the other one of us is usually getting some work done. And this makes for a pretty nifty little workstation that you can have here. So if you're still somebody that is working while on the road, this makes a very nice, just kind of like mobile desk area that you can have very comfortable seat, have your laptop up here, whatever you need up here, but nice work area when you want it to be a work area and then folds away when you don't want it to be a work area. Fleetwood's done a great job. You've got a little PowerPoint here, outlet down there. I mean, all of the things that you need in this area to just make things comfortable. This is nice and deep, these cabinets. Very nice, deep cabinets to be able to store all sorts of things. Food is always the big thing that I think comes to mind is dishes I feel like I can store easily enough away, but this is so much storage for all of the things that you need, dishes, food. It really does feel like a condo or an apartment or something like that. So we're gonna walk back here into the bedroom area. Now this is one thing that I am seeing that I absolutely love and I wish more RV manufacturers set things up this way. But you have your shower here and you have your toilet in here. <laughs> Let me tell you how wonderful that is. We have a similar setup in our rig and especially with a family, it's completely invaluable. So if you have somebody that is monopolizing the bathroom time, that doesn't affect anybody that maybe needs to take a shower. So you can have your shower while somebody is in the bathroom here and then two sinks. So you have a sink here and then you have a sink in where the toilet is. And this is another one of those things with having double sinks. We have that in our rig. I cannot tell you what a lifesaver that is because if somebody's in the bathroom, <laughs> that doesn't prevent somebody else from being able to brush their teeth. If I need to do my hair or makeup, I have a mirror to do that. Storage behind here, plenty of storage. This rig for a 35 footer 
has a ton of storage. More storage down here as well. Nice deep storage down here actually. And then in this particular toilet area, more storage up here, lots of storage for towels, linens, whatever that you would put up here, more storage for toiletries, things like that behind here. And then down here, you've got your breaker panel and then storage up here. Then a lot more storage under the sink. I'm loving how they're lining all of this with this felt material instead of it just being kind of a wood cabinet look. Just gives things a little bit of a nicer high end feel, but also helps to reduce noise. And it helps with some insulation too on cold mornings like this morning happens to be here. The bedroom area, this is pretty cool, guys, pretty cool. So in front of you here, you have kind of like your wardrobe set up. So you have got his and her cabinets for being able to hang clothes, put clothes, things of that nature there. You've got your little hidden thing. So here's your magnetic knob, hits that catch, and you've got this nice drawer. So if you do have things that you just wanna make sure are hidden away, you've got this. Or the other thing that I always think about too is this type of magnetic catch we had on a lot of our cabinets where we had household cleaners and things like that when our children were very young and we didn't want them in there. So even things like if you have medications or something that you just don't want access with small children, you can use this nice magnetic drawer. It will not open without your little special magnet. And washer dryer, washer dryer in a 35 foot motor home. That is awesome. You usually don't find washers and dryers in the shorter rigs. You have to get into the way longer ones or sometimes into like the diesel pusher lineup that can carry the extra weight. This has got your washer dryer right down here. And because of where it's located, you're not losing a ton of storage space. There's a ton of storage everywhere that you would need it. You don't lose anything for having the washer and dryer in that space. With the bed being a convertible that comes up and out of the way during the day or when you're not actually sleeping, this just means you can move around in here. It means you can have this washer dryer with the cabinets that open up because you don't have the bed butted right up against it. And then you fold it down for sleeping at night. So at night you've got it butted up against there, but you're not gonna be switching laundry in your sleep. No, you're gonna be sleeping. So this type of setup just makes a lot more possible from the sense of storage and cabinets and wardrobe space and all of that. So excellent setup. And it's nice if you wanna just sit in here and watch TV or something like that too. It just tilts up and out of the way like that. You've got your windows here next to the bed areas right here to be able to put devices with your USB charging that's right here. And then you've got your storage that is up above in here. Fleetwood is making these set up. So if you do need or have a CPAP machine, it has a dedicated outlet up here. The cabinet is lit. So when you open it, it lights up and then you have got areas here where tubing and things like that can come down. So this cabinet's not lit, but this one is because it's made for that type of device should you need that type of device. So plenty of storage up there and for medical devices if you need it. One thing I love with this particular floor plan setup is this doorway that comes back to the back bedroom is really, really large. You've got a lot of space here. So you can just unlock it and then it's like a double door system. So you're able to fit essentially a large pocket door in the walls by having actual two panels that are coming across to be the doorway to the bedroom. So it just opens this up, feels so open in here. It doesn't really feel like that you're in an RV at all. 
So this particular model has a hundred gallon freshwater capacity. That is huge, especially for a gas engine RV. And then you have an 80 gallon fuel tank. So plenty of fuel to be able to get you from point A to point B without having to stop to refuel if you don't want to. You also have an onboard generator and then a 10 gallon hot water heater. Now a cool option that you can get on this model is the tankless hot water heater as well. So that's definitely a nice upgrade if you do have a family where it's kind of that hot water can be somewhat a precious commodity. All right, let's go take a look at the outside and see what our outside options look like for storage on the outside. Look at how tall that door is too. It's very stand stand tall. on the bottom step, and like you're. I'm five foot five eleven. Eleven, and you've got room to spare. I mean, that's tall. Exactly. You so, don't have to duck if you're a tall person coming in and out of this rig. This has got the twenty-two and a half inch tires, and for a gas engine, that's not something that you see so much with these bigger tires on a gas engine. So definitely made to support more weight. But one thing that we've seen too in just having two different types of RVs on kind of different setups is you do have a little bit better ride quality sometimes when you've got those bigger tires. It just feels different when you're driving. So let's start at the back and work our way towards the front. So you've got some storage back here and then look at this. This has got a ton of storage up on top here. Pass through too. It is somewhat Someone. of a pass through because you've got some of the components on the other side, but definitely nice big kind of tail storage area there. Nice big storage area here with storage up on top of this compartment as well. I love on these newer rigs that the, the doors open out to the side. It just makes getting in and out much easier. Another big storage. More storage here. This one does have a pass through across the top. So if you have toys like inflatable paddle boards or surfboards, kayaks, things like that, you can just lay those across the top and pass those through without having to worry about deflating them or things like that. And then here Ooh. you have got your outside TV. Plenty of options for those of you that like to be able to watch TV while you're on the road with the two TVs that are inside and then of course one on the outside as well. And then here you've got your propane fill, your inverter, and some battery controls. And then more storage here as well. Lots and lots of storage. Did we say that there was a lot of storage? Because there's a lot of storage. This particular one is set up on a Ford chassis with the V8 engine. It does have 350 horsepower. So plenty of power to get you where you need to go. Even though it has a gas engine, you're still gonna be able to get it up those hills. Let's take a look here. More storage. Never lacking storage in a Class A. No, that is one thing about Class A's that I absolutely love, especially if you are a full-time family because you need that extra storage. So you've got some access to your water tank there, but also storage. There's your pass through on the top. So there's the pass through there. So over on this side, you have got all of your hookups. So your water hookup, and then of course your sewer hookup. So it's all right here. And you've got the built-in water filter system on here as well, which is definitely a nice option to have. And then the nice thing that I see that they've put here, because it can be confusing when you're a new RVer and you're first starting out, how you should have your switches turned, but they've got where if you're filling your tank, you've got it turned to here. If you're dry camping, so you have no hookups, you want to have this turned to here. And if you're hooked up to city water, then you have it turned to here. It's nice that Fleetwood has thought about all levels of RVers and explained that a little bit better with this particular model. You've got your generator back here. So plenty of power to power you through those boondocking times or times where you don't have access to shore power. This is gonna be your dryer vent because you've got your washer dryer right on the other side of this wall in the bedroom there. So that's what this is. 
And then you have your Ooh, electrical. The roll up. The roll up. Now this is amazing. And then they've got, look Ben, there's a built-in surge protector. Oh, surge guard. Surge guard, built in. Nice, that's awesome. So you don't have to have the extra surge protector like we have, because you've got one that's built in. These roll up for the electrical cords are so nice. Hope you enjoyed this video of the tour of the brand new Fleetwood Bounder floor plan. We'll put some videos for other RV tours from the Tampa show right up here. And then we'll put some videos of fun places to go visit up here. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button over here. And until next time, if we don't see you on the road or at the campground, we'll see you in the next video.